Yo tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a, a line based random background in Affinity Photo. Obviously there's a variety of ways of doing this but this is one way of doing it. Just creating a nice sort of unusual background. Now first thing to do, just quickly go over here to the pen tool. Just select pen tool and set the stroke. Don't have to have obviously black, you can go for a different colour. And the key thing here is set it to line mode. Now just quickly click there and click there, click there. Make sure you don't actually go very close to the, otherwise it will, they will connect. So you just random directions. So you can just quickly create them like that over there. If you I say keep them separate, otherwise they have a tendency to join, but you just vary the length and the angle. So don't know. So you can just quickly do that. I'm just going to create a few. I'm not going to create too many otherwise. You can see the general approach. You create starter design there. Okay, once I've actually done that, what you can do then, just go up here to the, just select all of those, and then group. So you can group them quickly, and you can then just move that. Hold down the Alt option, and you can just obviously create more sort of random lines like that. You don't have to keep them obviously the same there, you can actually just vary that, so you can just do that. You can also of course rotate it, you don't have to keep it the same. You've also got transform, you could actually, if you want, slant it a bit, and maybe continue with that one. Again, rotate there. And you can fill this, obviously create as many as you want, you make it a bit smaller again, just go over there, and so on and so on. So you can see you can actually build up very quickly a very random background. And now of course you can actually just hold, select the whole lot, just move those, and then right there, rotate that, and so on, so on, so on. So, right, so you've got this sort of random background. Now what you can also do, if you want to vary after that, you can of course select all of that, so everything's been selected, and then you can just go over here back to the pen tool, and then you can maybe set the stroke color, so you can go for obviously red. You can also modify the width, so you can just make it like that. Obviously it goes at a certain point, you end up losing what you've got there. You can also modify the pressure, so scale the objects like that, and then just vary that. So you can create a different sort of backgrounds just by simply modifying that. Now, once you've actually done that, now you can actually go back to the there and just quickly click group. So they're all grouped, and then you can just go to filters and maybe apply filters such as distort and deform. And then just click there, click there, and then just distort the design to create, let's say, unusual line based backgrounds. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.